Right, welcome everyone to another episode of uh, uh, this podcast where I talk about uh, this budgeting software called Actual Budget. Uh, I think for I've been using Actual Budget for about exactly about one month, and so far the experience has been quite satisfactory. And uh, there are some things that I still need to figure out. Uh, here, here and there, but largely speaking, I I managed to replace my uh my old budgeting software uh, just budget with uh actual budget, and uh and today what I want to talk about is this aspect about budgeting that uh that a lot of people struggle with and. It is something that they would think about whenever they 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 consider what kind of budgeting software to to use, and which is which is the part about whether whether uh, there is uh there is a there is a uh, there is a mobile application, and to them that is important because. Uh, the the key in of the of the expenses is to to them is an important thing and uh, they they find that it's quite easy to actually miss out and when they miss out they don't they they struggle to 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 continue with the application so I'm gonna introduce uh, you guys to a, a trick uh, to 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 make uh, this key in of transactions on actual budget easier. Now, uh, what you see over here is an actual uh, budget. Uh, I've been doing this for like about one month. So far, so good. Uh, and as you can see on uh, my wider screen, I can have about uh, six months op open up and. And lastly speaking, uh, it's been quite a quite an enjoyable ex ex experience so so far. Uh, entering the transactions, uh, looking at the looking at the reports itself. Uh, by no means this is uh, a a complete uh, application, but it's very serviceable. Now, uh, let's get into uh, today's topic, and uh, I think today's topic. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, today's topic we're gonna talk about uh, data entry, which is uh, entering the the expenses, and uh, this part is uh, important because uh, these transactions, these expenses form form uh, what what makes up the the budget itself, the the tracking part of it, and I think when people consider uh, what uh, what which application to use they will always ask uh, is there a mobile application and uh, for me uh, this is this is a bit uh, different because when I started budgeting uh, it was during a period where there's no mobile application so in a uh, in a certain sense we have to find a way to actually enter the data I started off with Quicken on the Windows PC so uh, what I normally do is that the first thing when I get home, uh, before I do anything, I will go uh, start up my computer and then I will enter the transactions, what I actually spend on the day itself before I do other things. So it becomes a habit and I think it's doable. But for a lot of people, they struggle with uh, things like that. And I think when when uh, these uh, mobile phones and uh, be became smarter and they can do 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 more things uh, these uh, budgeting applications they take advantage of of of, of this by by uh, making everything uh, all all in one so the advantage is that uh, where whenever you spend uh, it makes it easy for you to just immediately launch the applications and and uh, enter the transactions itself now actual budget they don't have a mobile application and so what do we do so um that the the simple way is that uh do do what, what i used to do uh try to remember 
these stuff, right? Uh, all, all your transactions and come back at the end of the day to actually enter it. Now, I thought this one is quite simple. Uh, um, um, some, some things to do because uh, if you if you cannot remember, right, you have a mobile application, uh, you have a lot of note, note application on your mobile phone, right? Make use of your mobile phone to actually enter uh, these, these transactions uh, itself. And then end of the day, when you come back, uh, just make it a habit to actually record down on actual budget itself. But in a certain sense, I think for some reasons, uh, people find it, find it difficult. So uh, one, 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 one trick that I have is that uh, I think a lot of people are on Telegram. Uh, Telegram is a chat, applica chat, chat application. Uh, you can see this blue color uh, logo over here. It's a, it's a very popular uh, um, chat application. The nice thing about it is that you can actually code uh, certain uh, bots to, to, to do different things about and, and not. So uh, what I do is actually I keep I created this actual budget companion bot right on Telegram. So this this bot uh, is able to link up to your Google spreadsheet right. Uh, every time it's it's a chat application and then you can you can you can uh, every time uh, you spend your money you just go to uh, telegram and then find 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 this bot and then it's just like you are talking to the bot you tell the bot uh, what you uh, spend on and how much is it and then when you when you when you uh, click uh, send uh, it will uh, it will send the transaction to this google spreadsheet so since everything is recorded over here, right, whether it's end of the day or some days later, right, uh, that spreadsheet will help you remember the transactions and then you can actually enter uh, the actual budget itself. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to show you like how, how, how do all this thing adds up, like uh, where to find, find, find this bot and then uh, um, um, uh, how how to link to this spreadsheet over here okay so uh let's give it a second and uh let's go over to uh where is it uh, okay give me a second all right so uh let us let us minimize it. so this is my so this is my uh, actual budget. Let's put this over here. All right. So um, on on the link to this YouTube video, you should be able to find a link uh, to this spreadsheet over here. So this that spreadsheet uh, is called the actual budget companion template. Okay. So uh, you can see it's a very simple uh, spreadsheet uh, which with four columns. One is for the date. One is uh, what is what are you? Uh, how much is the spending? And this is the description over here. So when and this is the Telegram app, Telegram app itself. And as you can see, I have a lot of uh, chats, chats and all. So so what what you're gonna do in that right now, right? Is step by step, we're gonna link every, everything together. So in the description over here, you'll be able to see uh, the, uh, the link to, to this spreadsheet. So the first thing that you need to do is actually make a copy because uh, this, is, this is the template and uh, you can't do much. So you come over the file and then over here, there's a make a copy. Okay, so over here, uh, let's call this one, uh, let's call this one actual budget. Let's say we call this Jackie, All right? Jackie, and then let's say I'll put this one. Where do I want to put this one? Let's go up one level into my drive. Okay, it's a bit slow. Okay, uh, my drive, and then we'll make a copy. All right. So now instead of using a template, this one is your copy already. Okay, so uh. 
we are going to go to a script editor because we are we need to actually tie some of these things together so you go to extensions you see this apps script okay then click on this app script okay so uh, this is how it is by default and there are certain certain of these uh, uh, default uh, variables you need to actually set set the value uh, by itself okay now the first thing is that you see this ss id over here what it says is that you're supposed to insert the id of your google spreadsheet now since you already make a copy of this google spreadsheet right the id is actually over here you can see over here right this one starts with a one t something highlight this whole thing over here just before before the uh, before the front slash you right click on this one and then you click copy then you come over here right it says supposed to insert here then let's say you select over here press delete and then uh, right click on this one to actually paste okay let's say you paste over here oh shucks that's not how you're supposed to paste it okay let's say you use control v use control v over here and then you you paste it okay so uh, it's a very weird thing okay and uh, all right now that you pasted it right then uh, what we need to do right is we're gonna need to fill in this web app URL the web app URL is actually like the URL to this script over here so the first thing that you need to do is that I think we need to do one manual deploy so come over here right you click on new deployment okay now you can don't put anything on the description itself and the first the thing to to take note of is that in order for this to run right this who has access uh, you need to put anyone okay so once you're done with this one right you click on deploy Okay, you wait for a while or they will ask you to do some uh, some of this authorization so uh, you click on advance and then you click on over here and then you click on allow so you you probably uh, uh, by now you should know that you need a Google account so over here you can see this uh, uh, web app uh, URL over here you click on copy and then you click on done now we're supposed to paste this thing over here okay so let's say I press ctrl V okay so you can see that uh, I pasted it over here and then I think uh, we're almost we're almost there uh, and and this one this one this one yeah so over here you, you click on save project okay so uh the first thing that you need to do is uh you need to actually run this set webhook uh set webhook uh set webhook fun function one time because what this one will do is that if you look at the code some of you might not understand it which is like you you will hook uh this 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 url to 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 telegram itself so uh and this token itself you you identify uh the our telegram uh telegram bot itself so over here uh you click on this down button and then you see uh, this set web hook. you click on this and then you click on run so under this execution log, you'll see show 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 you that it's a uh, webhook was set. Uh, you can see this webhook was set. Okay, so let's go over to our Telegram site. Uh, let's say over here. So what you can do is that you search up this thing called actual budget. Okay, and then you should find this actual actual budget companion. Now, if you're running this one for the first time, right, then you uh, you won't see anything. They will ask you whether to actually start the bot or not. So you can start the bot 
you can start the bot itself and but if as you can see i already got some entries over here already so um so once you start it right you can actually chat with go through this actual budget companion to actually chat and this one will actually send uh whatever that you want to log over to to this uh spreadsheet over here so say for example uh let's say we we we, we spend on coffee so you can type coffee and then comma and then how much is the coffee let's say this is an expensive coffee now you don't have to put uh, a dollar sign in front because you put dollar sign uh this this spreadsheet will, will, will won't process it and then you just press enter okay now you can see over here there's some feedback you say logging to google spreadsheet 450 and coffee so you can see what kind of transaction is launched uh log so see over here on the right side that this is uh it shows like four dot 450 coffee and uh just now what i entered was coffee 450 but you can also put it the other way so let's say it's like this is a 350 uh, uh let's say uh western food okay western food shouldn't cost so cheap but uh for example let's just show show that like that okay so let's say uh you just want to lock it fast this 780 right you don't know what is it you can also just enter it okay now this means that uh on your mobile phone itself on the telegram application you can just keep keep putting in uh these transactions uh putting in transactions and uh whether you remember today or tomorrow right it's okay you just go to your spreadsheet itself google spreadsheet and you open this this one up right and then you can come over here and then you, let's say you go over here the transactions itself right then you can actually enter transactions you come over here to add new and then you come over here see what's the transaction uh, side by side you'll be able to actually enter the transactions so uh, i have another column on over here recorded right where you can if it's done already you can come over here and just put, put uh, yes all right so uh, over time when you build up these things right it becomes very clear like oh okay which is the transaction that is uh, that doesn't have a yes and then those are transactions that you need to enter now the the best thing is actually like i can code the bot in such a way that you just uh, on this uh, spreadsheet right i can uh, just import it over here into uh, the the expenses and business now unfortunately right uh, actual actual budget doesn't allow an import of a csv uh, but it's more like uh, it's it it only allows you to enter uh, import transaction from quicken itself uh that's a bit unfortunate but maybe next time some someone will actually do something about it because uh this is under uh un, under development now uh hopefully this this helps a fair bit uh uh this helps a fair bit in in uh in in uh, recording uh these transactions because i find that like this is the part where where most people struggle with and and i think next time we'll discuss some uh, uh some some of the nuances whether uh how do we enter the the transactions it, it itself because uh, there are some transactions that that takes place immediately and then there are some uh that does not take take, take place immediately so hopefully i can share some of my experience and uh, to 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 help you uh is uh, ease into this uh, tracking portion of of the process so that you can uh, stay 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 on the this uh, path of uh, doing regular uh, budgeting uh, longer okay 